Okay, in this example, we have to just simplify an expression. So we have x squared y minus 3y squared plus 5xy squared minus the quantity negative x squared y plus 3xy squared minus 3y squared. And again, we have four answer choices here. Again, the basic idea, let's just simplify this and see which one of these we get. So you can imagine in, in front of the first set of parentheses, there's just a positive 1. So we can just remove this, this, the set of parentheses from this first expression. So I'm just going to rewrite everything. I'll have x squared multiplied by y minus 3y squared plus 5xy squared. Now again, you can think about there as being a negative 1 here. We'll have to distribute the negative to everything inside the parentheses, and it's just going to change the sign on each term. So a negative times a negative will be a positive x squared times y, a negative times a positive will be a negative 3xy squared, and then a negative multiplied by a negative will be a positive 3y squared. So again, now it's just a matter of combining like terms. So the first thing I see is x squared y. I'm going to go through here and think, do I see any x squared multiplied by y terms? Well, the next one's just y squared, so no. The next one, there's an xy squared, so the square's in the wrong place, so that one's not it. I see a positive x squared y, so it looks like that one works. And then again, we have an xy squared, so it looks like those are going to be my, my like terms that I'm going to start off combining. So again, we have a positive 1x squared y, a positive 1x squared y. If we add that, those together, again, we just do the arithmetic on the coefficients. We'll have 2x squared y. So that takes care of those. Okay, so next I've got this negative 3y squared. I've got a negative 3y squared, and the only other place I see a term involving y squared is the very last one. And that's negative 3y squared plus 3y squared. Those are just going to give us 0y squared, or 0, so I'm not going to write it down. So those will just cancel out. And then it looks like the terms that are remaining, again, that was a minus sign, are like terms. We have a 5xy squared and a negative 3xy squared. So again, if we do 5 minus 3, that's going to leave us with positive 2xy squared. Again, these are not like terms. Yeah, they both involve x and y, but here the x is being squared, and on the second term, the y is being squared. So we can't combine those any further. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like answer choice C is going to be our correct choice in this case.